I grew up skateboarding for years. I just kept on getting hurt really hard and surfing was just something that didn't hurt as bad when you would bail on a wave or something. You're not landing on cement, you're landing on water. Something that I wanted to do was bring that skateboarding into the surfboard. You know, I was always interested in making my own boards and decided to come take a class where I learned you know, the fundamentals of surfboard shaping. There was another fellow that inspired me, this guy from Indonesia, and he was doing some boards that looked just like skateboards. I'm like, you know what, that's like right up my alley. Until you're sitting here in front of someone watching them shape, like they put their heart and soul into it. Shaping surfboards is like my art, my canvas. There's different things that people use to do their art. And for me, it's the foam versus someone's canvas. And someone's tools are their paintbrushes. My tools are the planer, the sureform, different grits of sanding blocks and papers. I've never felt the freedom of creating something or sculpting something from a block of foam. I've gone out and I've spent $600, $700 on, on boards from famous shapers, but I go out and shape something myself and like it 100% more. But you have your ups and downs and failures, but you learn from your mistakes. Whereas on a couple boards I did with a little bit less detail, a little bit less rocker, and from that I learned on my next ones, hey, if I'm gonna be surfing a steeper wave, I'm gonna add a little bit more rocker on this board. It's a never ending process. You just gotta take those ups and downs as lessons to perfect, and just to make the next one better and better as you go. My name is Brian Espinoza, and I'm a surfboard shaper.